In this video, we discuss the use of fenbendazole and mebendazole during cancer treatment. As always, these ideas are discussed in more depth in the book Cancer Self-Defense 101 – Quick Tips to Help You Survive. All citations for studies quoted in this video can be found in the book's bibliography at cancerselfdefense101.com. This video is intended as information, not medical advice. It is not intended to treat, diagnose, or cure any disease. Any medical advice should come from an appropriately credentialed medical professional familiar with your unique circumstances. Mebendazole is a deworming, aka antihelminthic medication that has been approved by the FDA since 1971. It has been found to impair microtubule development within cancer cells. Microtubules are needed for maintaining cell shape and function. They are also used by the cancer cell to move molecules within the cell. Microtubules are also used by cancer to develop blood vessels to obtain nutrients. By impairing microtubule development, mebendazole inhibits all of these functions without much of an impact on healthy cells. Mebendazole has also been found to act against cancer via the JAK-STAT3 and braf meq erk pathways. It has also been shown to potentiate radiotherapy. The list describing its mechanisms of action against cancer could go on and on. In preclinical studies, mebendazole has been shown to be effective against many different cancer cell lines, including gastric, colorectal, prostate, breast, liver, lung, thyroid, head and neck, gallbladder, adrenal cortex, acute lymphocytic leukemia, melanoma, myeloma, meningioma, and primary brain tumors. Although it is part of the Care Oncology Protocol that has been used successfully with thousands of patients, clinical trials on mebendazole are still scant. One trial among 24 patients with primary brain tumors, 18 glioblastoma, and 6 glioma showed a survival benefit when combined with the brain tumor drug temozolomide. Patients who took mebendazole for more than one month along with temozolomide had an overall survival of 13.1 months, while patients who took less than one month had an overall survival of 9.2 months. There are also case reports of mebendazole stabilizing refractory adrenal cortex cancer, a very aggressive cancer with few treatment options, and refractory colon cancer with resolution of tumors in the lungs, lymph nodes, and partial remission in the liver. Another anti-helminthic drug, fenbendazole, is gaining popularity with cancer patients. It is actually approved for animal use and can be purchased commercially without a prescription under the product name Panacur C. It is a pharmacological cousin of mebendazole. There is also a possibility that fenbendazole is actually more efficacious than mebendazole. However, mebendazole has more clinical data supporting it and has greater brain penetrance. The polymorph C version of mebendazole has been found to have the highest rate of absorption. This is the version Care Oncology uses. For more information, please see the book Cancer Self-Defense 101, Quick Tips to Help You Survive.